What's up, JFusion fans? This is Philip, and welcome back to another video. So, I would like to talk about Kamen Rider O's once again, but to be very specific, I would like to talk about the Mukachiri combo. So, with that said, and with that in mind, I would like to mention that there are going to be some spoilers for uh, Fukatsu no Core Metal and Kamen Rider Memory of Heroes because I will mention the plot points where this combo is basically involved. But of course, uh, if you haven't watched the movie yet, go ahead and watch it. And if you haven't seen my review for the movie yet, I'm going to leave a link down in the description so you guys can see it. But again, I would like to remind you, watch the movie first. So, I guess I would probably have to mention that there will be some spoilers for Kamen Rider Memory of Heroes as well, but I guess only the part where uh, Mukachiri comes out again. Some spoilers ahead, so uh, if uh, I'm going to repeat myself ad nauseum, go ahead, watch the related content first before watching this video. With that said, let's move on. I'm not gonna say, uh, I'm not gonna repeat myself any further. So now, let's talk about the Mukachiri combo. Uh, so it is a form that was teased for Kamen Rider O's a few years ago, and it actually came out as a Sodo Chronicle figure, along with some other uh, theoretical O's combos that we, of course, don't get to see in the show or in other related media, but it is the Mukachiri combo that gets its own uh, related media release. However, it is exclusive to this game, Memory of Heroes. So, at some point, I believe around the middle of the game, so you get to encounter the Mukachiri Greed for the first time, which is basically an artificial greed. So, now we are going to go into some more spoilers for the game, but again, uh, it's going to be necessary to talk about the, the plot in order to explain more about the Mukachiri combo. So anyways, so like I've said, Mukachiri combo first appears in this game through the Mukachiri greed. So this is a greed that has no name. It is simply called Mukachiri. So the Mukachiri greed was an artificial greed created by a Professor Aida. So this Professor Aida is reportedly missing and it's your mission in the game to find this so uh, this uh, Professor Aida. So now, you encounter this Mukachiri Greed, and by defeating it, uh, of course, uh, AG has to fight that Greed. So by defeating that Greed, AG gains access to three core medals, which is the Mukade, the Suzumebachi, and Ari core medals, hence the Mukachiri. So, let's talk about the form and its abilities. So, it does have a couple of uh, uh, special traits, right? So, the first one is poison resistance. Now, there is a part that, uh, there is a very, very specific part right after the battle with the Mukachiri, and uh, more specifically, after you gain the Mukachiri combo. So, there is only this one point in the game, though, that you need to use the Mukachiri form in order to pass through a cloud of poisonous smoke. So, with that, it shows that the Mukachiri combo is able to resist poison, while at the same time being able to deal poison damage as well. So, the arm, or the right arm specifically, has a needle that is of course based on the Japanese hornet. So you're able to sting enemies with it and it causes stun effects. So you can also uh, charge that attack for increased damage with the addition of the stun damage or the stun bonus. 
So,、uh, with the Mukade, you, you're able to deal poison by spewing out the venom, if I remember correctly. So, I haven't、uh, played as Mukajiri combo that much,、uh, to be completely honest. I、uh, was able to finish this game a few times, but、uh, I will try a Mukajiri run. But nonetheless, so it is resistant to poison while being able to deal poison damage.、Uh, I'm not really sure about the ant part of the Mukajiri combo, which are the legs, by the way. I. Pretty sure they're just there for like the rider kick because, of course, ants are strong insects and they can carry like 5,000 times their body weight, if I remember correctly. So, with that, I guess、uh, it powers up Eiji's leg so he can perform a rider kick with it. So, with that said, right? So, the Muka Chiri greed. So, eventually, you do get to the end of the game. So, It turns out that this Professor Ida that you were looking for has been actually dormant inside I, which is the robot who has been assisting you since the start of the game. And it turns out that this Professor Ida is also the main antagonist of the game, transferring her consciousness into the Mukachiri greed and thus. Becoming the final boss of the game. So, as the Mukachiri greed, right?、Uh, so, this greed has some abilities. So, of course, it is able to deal poison damage by spewing out venom and creating pools of poison, which, of course, obviously deal damage whenever you step on them. And it has like It has the wasp needle on its right arm, which of course it charges you with, so it deals damage. And with the、uh, legs of the actually, like the head is in the shape of a centipede, so it is also able to deal damage by swinging its、uh, head around, you know.、Uh, and there is an attack that the, the Mukachiri greed. Releases tendrils from its body that actually it's punishable if you just、uh, keep attacking before the attack activates. So, yeah, it was、uh, really fun. But nonetheless, so those are just some of the abilities of the Mukachiri Greed. So, as I've mentioned, so the Mukachiri Greed is also, of course, composed of the Mukade. Suzumebachi and the Ari medals. And as I mentioned, these are artificial, and it turns out that this professor Ida also created them. So I guess it made sense that she also uses them to turn into greed. Now, let's move on to the movie where these core medals appear. So I guess. The movie takes a lot of inspiration from the game. You know,、uh, just to remind you, by the way, so this game, right? So, Memory of Heroes is a standalone story. It is not connected into any canon in any way. So,、uh, again, whatever happens in this game is not related to the movie, but this specific part is. More or less inspired by this specific plot point of the game. So it turns out that in the movie, so the Mukachiri medals are created by the Kogami Foundation in order to create their own greed. So they're kind of successful, hence the creation of Goda. So now we do have a name for that greed, and they use the Mukachiri medals to. Uh, actually, uh, help AG survive. So, just to summarize, AG was severely injured at the beginning of the movie when he tried to stop、uh, the original O's from 800 years ago, more than 800 years ago at this point. So, he tried to save a girl by receiving an attack, 
you know, from the original O's. But at that point, AG was not transformed into O's. His transformation was actually canceled. You know, and he was basically uh, near dead. Okay, so the Kogami Foundation used these core metals to basically keep AG alive until he recovers. The same way uh, Ankh possessed the body of Shingo Izumi, who was also severely injured at the beginning of Kamen Rider O's. Now, the thing is, right, in this movie, Mukachiri does not appear as a green form, nor the Rider combo or the O's combo for the Mukachiri medals. So, when I talked about this in my review, again, link in the description, by the way, it was a missed opportunity. I mean, you already have the design for the O's combo suit, right? And then you have already the design for the actual greed. So we can assume at least that if Goda had a greed form, like the actual monster form, it would have been the same Mukachiri greed that appeared in Memory of Heroes, right? So that for me was one of the reasons why I was honestly very disappointed in the movie because, again, you have a potentially amazing monster. I mean, AG has transformed into a greed already, right? So when he was basically possessed by the Puto Tirano uh, medals, he transformed into another dinosaur greed. Of course, the other half or the other... Uh, three medals, so Dr. Maki had them, and he, of course, transformed into his own dinosaur greed. But yeah, AG has that kind of experience already. So, again, Goda through AG's body probably would have been able to transform into a greed, similar to how Ankh transforms into his greed form using Shingo Izumi's body. And... So, at least uh, Mukachiri somehow kind of appears with the design of Goda's head. Uh, they kept the design to be insect-like. But, uh, again, uh, at least Goda should have had the opportunity, even at least once, uh, AG could have transformed into to this Mukajiri combo while fighting against the original O's. So, yeah, for me, again, at least that part, you know, was a missed opportunity. But, yeah, that's the story of the Mukachiri greed and the Mukachiri combo. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video, so please do leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and don't forget that notification bell so you get the latest from GE Fusion. This has been Philip, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.